Okay, so I'm just going to run through some of the very basic Git commands, the kind that are really a foundation for everything you're going to do on Git, including things I still have not yet learned. Uh, this does not go over installations, so if you don't have Git set up, go ahead and uh, go to uh, Google and do a search for installing Git on whichever uh, the sort of computer you're on. Um, GitHub has a great one that's open here on my screen right now, so stop this video and go get uh, Git installed and then come back. So what I'm going to start with here is I actually have a, uh, I've created an empty folder on my desktop called simple git, which is where I'm going to put my project. And right now there is nothing in here. It's just an empty folder. So to start with, I'm going to create a readme. I'm using the touch command just to create a simple file. And then I have a shortcut to open that in sublime text here. And so I'm just going to call this simple git demo. And for now, that's all I'm going to do. So I'm going to initialize in this folder a git repo with the command git init. Then I'm going to add my readme. And I'm going to commit that readme. Using dash m, I can add a message directly. Initial commit. And so now, right now it's just local on my computer. What I want to do is get it on GitHub or another repository, but I'm going to use GitHub since that's extremely popular. And I'm going to use the random created name here, animated wall hack. Let's create that repository. And it will give me the initial steps for uh, different circumstances here. Since I've already um, turned my local folder there into a repository with that git init command, and I've already added things, I can just skip down here. And you can compare here, I've already done git init, I've already added a readme and so forth. So I'm just gonna add my remote repository with this command git remote add origin and the URL. So that's been added and now I can push my local repo up to GitHub. The origin is the name here that was selected in the previous command. All right, now if I go here, I can refresh, and it has my readme up on the page. So let's go back to our readme file. And we've added, we've done git init, we've done git add, we've done git commit, git remote add, git push. All right, so let's keep track of that. So git add, we'll add we have to add it each time to kind of update our changes. So I'll add that again. Git commit update list of commands. Now, as you see, I have mistyped commands, which we don't want that ugly thing in our in our uh, Git history. So let's fix that. Uh, the simple way uh, that I like to do, because it's repeatable, is using git log, and I can see my history of commands or history of commits. So I'm going to grab the one right before. I'm just grabbing this hash number here, and I'll do git reset soft, and that basically uh, will change only the history and not our actual files. And I'll put that hash there. So now our file has been unchanged. So now I can fix my commit message. So if I look at git log, now I can see that commit is gone. So git commit. And this time I'm going to do it without the M flag. And what it's going to do is open up a Vi window for me. So I'll press I to get into insert mode update git command list and then escape to exit that mode and then colon w for save don't ask me why and q to quit so i have updated that commit and now i can push it again and just to verify there it is so we can now update this some more We've looked at git log and 
git reset. Now let's say something went haywire and I added some extra nonsense in here and I didn't notice. And I went to go update my readme again, git commit, add more commands. So I'm adding that to my repo, I come and look, and oh no, I have something nasty going on here. Ah. Yes, that was very terrible panic on my part. So I come back here and I can fix it, of course, just by doing this and committing again. But suppose, um, and the, probably the best example is if I were working on a project and I had committed a password or some sort of private information, of course I would, no matter what, want to change that information on my end, but for good measure I would also want to remove it from the history on GitHub. So how can I do that now that I've already pushed that? Well, let's go back there. So I'm going to look at my status, make sure I haven't done anything terrible. All right, so git log. Let's go roll back again. Git reset. All right, and git log. And I can double check over here, everything's the same. And what I want to do now is get rid of this. So git add readme, git commit update command list, git push you. And now I can add this F flag, which will force a history rewrite. So now come up here and the history is gone. You can see in the uh, there's no evidence of that ugly commit. And one more thing you can do is suppose you want to completely undo some code that was added. And you want you want to not only remove the commit, but you just want to get rid of all the code as well. Look at my git log, and I'm going to go all the way back to the beginning. Git reset hard will do change my code base as well as the history. So now if I come over here, my file has refreshed without that. Git See, and there's actually nothing to commit the way it's been reset. So I go ahead and push and force that. Come back here and we see we have three commits in our history and we have all these commands. So now when I refresh, changes, we've only ever had one commit and it's still just our basic readme.